life right now. Hey CVPs! This is a live stream that is totally spontaneous because guess what? We reached today 50,000 subscribers! And it's crazy because, hey, there you guys, there you are guys, hi guys. And I am so stoked, <laughs> 50,000 today and it's awesome. So thank you so much for loving us, supporting us and being there for us. It means so much for us, it's, it's awesome. And without you guys, this won't be happening so I just wanted to like go live today just to thank you personally that you guys are my CVPs so thank you <laughs> I'm so excited 50,000 subscribers today you will be <laughs> yep so let me hear from you I want to hear from you what were you up to I know I was gone for a week I was really busy I was at the AMAs and then there was Vit Summit for three days and then I'm just like, <laughs> like just taking another like weekend off. And then tomorrow I will be back with uh, daily vlogs. So yeah, so let me know what's going on with you. I want to hear from you. Yeah, you guys all are. I feel my selfie stick. Let me get a little closer so I can read your messages. Congrats, congrats. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. God, toxic kitty can you please say hi yes hi toxic kitty hello hello guys i love you too hi there you are oh my mirko is here hi mirko <laughs> so beautiful to see you all again and stephanie blonde hi hi where's hope hope is back in his um cage in the bird room yeah so i just want to like have time with you one on one because if Hope is here, I will be busy with him and he's gonna chew on my hair and on stuff and and then I can't focus on you because I'm focusing on Hope. Yeah, so wonderful to see you. Hi Caroline Davis. Slimy Panda. Poop boo something. Hi. <laughs> you always say hi to me. Thank you, Caroline. Oh, you're welcome, Mirko. I love your comments. I love that you always comment. You're such a positive person. I love it. <laughs> uh, hi again. Toxic Kitty, yes. I say hi again to you. So, um, Yeah, so let me know what's going on. Do you guys have any questions? I'm just so happy that you guys are back and I am back and that we can continue our YouTube journey. 50,000 today. New subscriber here. Hey, Doris, welcome. I just noticed by the last vlog that I can scroll up. I didn't know I could scroll up kind of like those comments. And I was like, oh, I miss it. You guys are so fast. I miss it. But somebody told me like, you can scroll up. And I was like, yeah, I didn't know that. It was so mind blowing. So I'm going to scroll up and read your comments. Poop, boom, popcorn, send me smiley. Savage Kid is here. Bring hope out. Um... Uh, but I want to focus on you guys for now. Like, you'll get hope tomorrow. <laughs> I promise. In my vlogs. New subscriber here. Doris the Amo. Welcome. And Paloma for life. Welcome. Random element, animal stuff. I love hope. I love hope too. Um, Lucy's world. Caroline, I love you too. Um, so, do you guys have any questions for me? Um, oh, Slimy Panda had a good question, and he's asking. Um, he's saying, "I'm in training. I'm training my bird, and he is finally getting trust. Beautiful. Continue doing the trusting. It's all bonding and trust. Take him out as much as possible, so you can kind of like you know handle him and involve him in your life. Daily life is really important that you just involve them." just to be part of you if you eat if you cook or if you eat like let them eat out of your plate you know um, and just be with them all the time all right here's another question oh April is here from Parrot Playhouse hi <laughs> April my wonderful friend um, if you guys don't know April go check out her channel Parrot Playhouse she has 10 birds she's amazing love her so much <laughs> I watch you every day and hope who said that? Caroline Davis. Thank you. I love it. 
I love it. Toxic Kitty, I love your videos. Thank you, Toxic Kitty. Okay, so here's a question. I have a cockatiel called Georgia and a budgie called Squeak. That, uh, that's a nice name. Squeak and Georgia. That's so nice. And that's from Li Live Lively's World. Hey, hey, adventures with all of them. Hey, my name is April. <laughs> Welcome, April. I'm so glad you are here. So glad you are here. Okay, sub to all the YouTubers. Popcorn. Pop, pop, boom, popcorn. Budgie family and more is in the house. And Basaida. Maris is in the house. LS. LPS Kitty is in the house. Hi, guys. When did you start training Hope? I started training Hope when he was, uh, I think, four or three months old, indoors first, and then I am, um, and then I went out with him when he was eight months old. And then here, Parrot Playhouse, she's saying, I'm driving. Congratulations. Oh, April, you shouldn't be driving and watching my live stream. What are you doing? You're crazy! Don't drive and watch my live stream. Focus on the street. April. How old is Hope? Hope is uh, two years old. Um, love you too, April. Parrot Playhouse. Um, okay, so here's a nice question from Tegan Bailey. Um, it says, my neighbor has a African Grey that swears that my sister has a cockatiel that burp. <laughs> That's hilarious. A burping and a causing burn. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Um, thank you, April. She's just, she just wrote, you look so beautiful. Oh, That's my five minute of makeup. <laughs> I try not to put too much makeup on. I'm just like a normal girl, but Hey, it's Sunday, so my five-minute makeup. <laughs> what language do you speak, Caroline? Um, Caroline Davis is asking me this question. I speak German fluently because I am originally from Germany. If you didn't catch that on my accent, yes, I am German and I love my country. <laughs> but I've been living in L.A. since 10 years now, so I'm both from American and German. Hey, I'm teaching my parrot to shake my hand. Wow, little bad gaming. Congratulations, that's awesome. One of your videos gave hope and destiny. I think it was an apple juice. Do you just use like one of those juice maker? And what are they called? Yeah, I used the Lavigne juice maker. It's, it's really old, it's almost 10 years old. I bought it in Target for like 100 bucks, $99 or so. And I was so into juicing. And it's just so delicious just to do sh uh, to juice fresh stuff. And then when I was juicing and I was drinking, my birds are all around me and I always want to sip. And hey, it's really healthy. So I juice every day for um, for angel um, and organic apple and I mix his um, apple this organic apple juice with his nectar and that's what he's getting and he loves it he's really he's really really um, lovely and he smells good I was if he drinks this fresh apple juice and he has also nice plumage so his colors are really vibrant red and green and uh, yellow and I just love it all right so Toxic Kitty, here's a shout out for you for the third time. Yeah, I recognize your name now. Um, so somebody asking me a question, Nyklon the Dragon. My Maka won't stay still when I try to do his pin feathers. Any tip? <laughs> Good question. I do also Hope's pin feathers. Like, um, because I'm bonded with Hope, he sits then on my chest and I just kiss him. And I scratch his head and we are really close and then he kisses me like a more lip like, mm, like that. And then I kind of like, you know, open his pin feathers like that. So we have a bond. If he's far away, like, and I'm trying to like reach him like that and open his pin feathers, he doesn't like it. So we have to be in this moment where we are one and bonded and he trusts me and he loves me. And that's, that's my advice. Cassie, stand calm. How are you? I am good. I am good. I am live right now and I'm talking to you, so I am happy. Okay, which is your favorite bird if you don't mind me asking? Steven 
556 is asking that. Um, and I says, um, I don't have a favorite bird. I love them all, like seriously. Um, Hope, Faith, Destiny, and Angel, they are all my beautiful birds. Like each one they are so different in personality and they are just so special. Like Angel, <laughs> he wakes me up every morning and then we just like cuddle like this kiss each other in a bed and then he stick his tongue up my nose which is like ugh, disgusting but he's so cute and he gets me out of bed and then hope is just my beautiful free flyer um and he's my my beautiful like pet dragon that i love so much and then destiny oh he's like a really birdie bird i call him birdie bird because he's so masculine he's like a bird he's like always eating and always the 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 chef like the the dominant one <laughs> and he is he's so cute and then little faith is also cute she's like she's like i want baby too i want baby too oh! <laughs> she's so cute too i love them all and then and then with destiny bullies faith because he's bigger and stronger i save faith from destiny and then De faith is really really happy and she whistle oh, 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 oh. She, i love them all they are so awesome they are all awesome. I love my birds. Yeah, and then guys, we I have a second channel called Angelic Parrots. And go check it out. I post daily little clips of my birds. And it's just like raw clips that I post there from... Today I post angel culling and dancing with my hand today. If you haven't seen it yet, like Angelic Parrots, go subscribe. Because I'm going to grow that channel as well with you. And I... Uh, try. I'm trying to get a thousand subs by end of this year, so hopefully we can make that. Okay, let's get back on to um, another questions. Nightclaw with dragons. No, Nightclaw, the dragon. I'm bonded well with my Makar, but he still won't sit, stay still. Whatever I go, he moves and he sits around and he comes himself to ignore me. Well, it sounds like you have a really strong personality bird there. Like, if he wants to do it by himself, just let him do it by himself. Just don't force it. If he wants to come and he puts down his head, then you kind of can help him. But if he bites you and he um, doesn't want you to touch him, then just respect his space. Uh, have you ever thought getting help one of his own kind? Yes, I did. And I'm getting two new birds this year. Well, one this year, one next year. Um, I'm pairing up Hope and I'm pairing up Angel with a um, similar partner. So yeah, with similar partners in size. And they, they are two birds that I really paid for and they are really rare birds and I can't wait to grow my angelic flock. So yes, yes, two new baby birds. Uh, legends forever I love you and your birds. Thank you. You know the feeling when you kiss your bird and he and she bites your nose. Oh, Destiny does it the whole time. Anxious Wolf, thank you for that question. Yes, and it's so painful because Destiny is an Amazon parrot and when he bites, his beak is so sharp like a knife and it just hits me like, you see, I was playing with Destiny and he bit me right here. The, like It's healing now three days ago. But he bites me all the time and then sometimes like I just let him like fly around in the kitchen and then he gets really protective about Faith and he sits on my head, jumps down and wants to bite my nose or my neck. And then I have to give him time out in Hope's cage. And he's not cage, so once he gets in the cage, time out for five minutes, he's angry. <laughs> And then after five to ten minutes, once he comes down, I take him back out of the kitchen and he's the most most loving bird and he changed his heart. So sometimes you have to be a little strict and give them time out. Never ever hit a bird. Never ever like like if a bird bites you, never hit back ever ever. Because if you hit a bird, the bird recognizes your hand is bad and it hurts them so they don't want to come to you and if you open your hand to ask the bird to come they will not come to your hand because you hit that bird with your hand so never ever hit a bird if a bird bites you just ignore it take it and put it back in the cage and just leave him alone and he has time to think what he did and he's out of cage privilege just got um yeah re restricted Okay, here, uh, here's a, somebody who's uh, saying something in German. Complex 100. 
Caroline, deine Videos inspirieren mich. Ich bin unendlich dankbar, du gibst der Welt so viel Liebe. Oh, <laughs> let me uh, um, um, translate it for you. She's saying, Caroline, your videos are an inspiration for me. Um, I'm very grateful and you give the world so much love. Thank you so much for that sweet comment. I love it. That's beautiful to hear. Um, Caroline Davis, did you get Joy the Parrot? <laughs> no, I didn't. Otherwise, it would be with my vlog. This lady, there's a video, one of my first vlogs. Somebody called me. They had to rehome the Scarlet Macaw. And I went over there and it didn't work out. And I never hear back. I think at the end, she didn't want to rehome it. She wanted to sell it to me. But, you know, I was like, I don't know. I don't know about it. But if you want to rehome it, I'll take it. But I never hear back from them. Um, okay, uh, CPEX Husky says, I have an African gay, talks to other birds on YouTube, does hope does too. Oh yes, also if I watch YouTube videos, and especially like the videos this morning from Parrot Playhouse, <laughs> go check her out. And um, they were like all talking and Hope was like on my chest, like right here, kind of like, you know, um, kind of like talking to me and we were kissing and I opened my phone and I watched April's video and April's playhouse was like like all squawking all her birds and Hope was like oh! and he was trying to like grab my phone and eat it because <laughs> all the noise came out of my phone that was funny I know she was really beautiful that, that, but it wasn't meant to be so just let it go I get I'm getting two new birds um okay here's another question from toxic kitty sorry again how long did it take to train a bird well i train hope indoors for three months first because i never trained a bird before and hope is my first bird uh, that i free fly so um if you have a bird you have to start with the biggest bird f um first and the loudest because bigger birds are better to free fly than smaller birds. Smaller birds uh, can also free fly, but it's more dangerous because of hawks. And it's better to free fly a baby macaw who is bonded to you, who you trained, who loves you, who trusts you, and who is loud and colorful. And um, yeah, that's like the best thing to do. I know people who have free flight budgies and cockatiels and conures. I mean, Angel is also free flight trained, but I don't fly Angel in the park because of hawks and I don't want to lose him. So I fly him in open areas with no trees where we go out on a road trip and he loves it. But he flies also, he's so small, he flies also around in the house, he gets so much exercise. And Hope is the biggest one. He needs the most exercise. So I go out with him daily in the park and fly him. But yeah, to answer questions, I train Hope for three months. So um, three months, maybe even if you are a good trainer, even less. But I, I train him for three months. Hey, Stable Maid Lover 2007. Anxious Wolf, hi. I'm looking for a good question. Caroline Davis, I am in the UK and parrots are expensive. Yeah, parrots are all, all over expensive because they are exotics. Even in the USA, parrots are expensive. Uh, Michael, my budgie was free flighted, but I never flew them out. was only in those. Yeah, you don't want to lose your little birds. They are so precious. And accident can happen so fast. A hawk can swoop down. Woof within like two seconds and then in front of your eyes you can see your little bird get eaten and it's horrible. I don't want that happen to anybody. I saw I have a free flight group on Facebook called USA Parrot Free Flight Club and um, some somebody um, has a cockatiel and a conure that he free flies and then he just posted I think like a couple weeks back he just posted that um, he was free flying them and a hawk tried to like come catch them and now he's really reluctant to free fly them again but uh, everything went well and he didn't lose them so we were like wow oh wow you got lucky okay so I'm looking for another question that I can answer So Stephanie Blonde is uh, no, St 
Stefana Blonde is asking this question. Is it better to get a baby bird or an adult to tame or train? I mean, if you can, always adopt a bird because there's so many unloved adopted um, like dot birds that need new homes. And it's really, really sad. People buy birds and they don't know how to handle it. And then it starts screaming. And then they just give it away. So if you can, adopt bird. But if you want to train a bird for free fly, a baby bird to bond is always best. But if you want to get training um, and, and knowledge first from a bird, adopt a bird. And then if you want to get a friend for that bird, um, you can always buy a baby bird. I like like um i have both i mean faith is adopted she's the only one of my by my flock that i adopt and then uh because dino died in 2016 my heart was broken and i didn't know anything about adoptions once dino was gone because i got dino as a baby as well uh, my heart was broken and i was looking for another dino but then i bought a baby angel and he wasn't like dino then i bought baby destiny who wasn't like a Dino, and then I bought um, a ringneck parrot he called Precious, but Precious flew away. Precious and Angel, they grew up together, and then um, never got Precious back, which was sad. And then when I was looking out for Precious, like Marlena was looking for Picasso, somebody found like, you know, an Amazon, and that was Faith, and I they, they gave me Faith. And so Faith is a, I call her a rescue, <laughs> and I don't know how old she is, but I got her once Precious was gone, and I just, you know, kept her. And um, and then last um, baby I bought in my flock was Hope. So, um, yeah, so I have four beautiful babies, Faith, Hope, Destiny, and Angel. Um, I found my bird down an alley and took him in. And you really just helped me in my family. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, CPEX Husky, for saying that. Do you think... Um, what do you think about Indian ringneck parrots? Marley Mir Miralem is asking these questions. Uh, this question. So what do I think about Indian ringnecks? Um, well, I just got my Indian ring like for a week before I lost them. <laughs> so I don't know much about Indian ringnecks, but... The one week I had my little baby Precious was, um, he was really cute, very smart. Uh, he was three months old. He was very shaky, still on his feet. But I think ringnecks are very smart birds. They are one of the best talkers for little birds and you can train them really well. But my Indian ringneck was always biting me. They are little biters. Even though they were like tame and he was hand fed, he was biting me non-stop and he was teaching also Angel to bite me so they pair up to bite me together. They are little stinkers. <laughs> but they are so cute and there's also different colors of Indian ringnecks. There's like uh, yellow, white, blue, purple, violet, like beautiful colors. Mine was a, um, a light blue, like a turquoise blue. He was so beautiful and I lost him. And I just think like he flew away at 4th of July um, so I think he got scared somewhere and he just joined the wild parakeets here in Pasadena and probably he got in a wild and he started his own family with another cute little ring neck girl. There's a lot of wild parrots here. Also why I don't fly Destiny um, here in Pasadena like in, um, in our park is because he has so many wild parrots and I don't want him to join the wild parrots. He can get wild. I mean, he's trained and everything, but I don't fly him every day. So I fly him in an open field. But if he see other wild birds, I don't know how he's going to like react or wants to fly with them. So I don't want to lose Destiny. So I don't fly Destiny out in open air, uh, like in the park as I fly home. Okay, other questions? This is a really good question. Ender Prince 300 is asking, is it possible to teach a bird to stay in the house? I really want a cockatiel with all clipping wings, but I'm scared it will fly out the back door and if it's open part of the day. Well, you always have to close the door. Like all my birds are free flight trained and they have all their wings. And I have, I don't know where you are, um, in the world, but here in America, there's these awesome mesh screens with like magnetics um, closure. So it looks like a door, but it's a screen and you can go out in and out like 
with and it closed by itself with magnetic it's called magnetic mesh screen door or something you can get it on amazon for i think like 14 dollars and this i have in my back door <laughs> no pine city <laughs> i replaced it already like i think like five times but um never keep the door open and yeah it's also good because um I kind of like live by myself so I don't really have a lot of people going in and out if you are not by yourself leave your bird in your room only and um, don't take it out where you know like the door or windows open or another family member opens the window to get fresh air and bam your bird that flew out that happened with my first budgie her name was sweetie she was a small little white beautiful little girl and my brother opened his window and I was 16 and my bird was gone. It went so fast and I never got her back. And it was also really cold in winter in Germany. So I think she didn't make it. And I was, I was, I was very sad and I wasn't happy with my brother. Yeah, so if you, you don't need to clip your bird's wings, let him fly in the house, but you have to be really careful and keep doors closed and shut all the time. Okay, so another question. Nest Storm says my cracker doesn't even go near closed doors or windows. I don't think he would fly away if I had the chance, but I still would risk it. Yeah, just keep your baby safe. Don't risk it. And then, looking for other questions. Which bird is better to get? I mean, if you have never had a bird before, just get a small little bird, a small little bird to train. I start, we all start with small birds, and that's how I start loving birds. When I was 16, I had my first bird, and it was like a budgie. And then uh, once Sweetie flew away, I got three other budgies. And that's how I learned to love birds, and then once I came to the USA, I was like, I want another pet, and I didn't want to cuddle the dog because it was too much work, and I didn't want to clean kitty litters. So I got Dino, and Dino was awesome. Oh, before Dino, I had a cockatiel here, but I got him from a pet's, pet's mark, a, like a pet expo for $20, like a little cute cockatiel, and it had a virus, and it died, and it was tragic. It was so sad. And after him, I got Dino, and Dino and I was bonded. Like, he was my first bird that I really love, and he was my soulmate. And you know, if you lose a bird, it's not like like losing... It is kind of similar if you lose a dog or, like, a family member, but it was it's more tragic because a bird takes a place in your heart. It's more like a soulmate relationship, like a partner, like a kid because a bird is always around you and it loves you so much. You know, a cat, a dog, they are so independent, but a bird is so dependent on you. And if you have a tame bird that's with you 24 seven and he eats out of your plate, it sleeps with you, it does homework with you, it does work with you, it sits on the computer while you are working, that's a bond that you will never have with a cat or a dog. So birds are just such amazing beings and once a bird dies or you know you lose a, a soulmate relationship with a bird it's so heartbreaking it's so painful so birds are just yeah my favorite animals they are my soul animals I let my cafe fly in the house and call her and she comes and lands on my head that's nice that was a uh, comment from Shyla Olsen Fatima, hey, I love your videos. Thank you, Fatima. The great Aniston dogs are better. All right. <laughs> Everybody has their own favorite pet, but I just, for now, I just choose birds. I love birds. I love dogs, too. I grew up with a lot of dogs, but I never had a connection with a dog like I have a connection with birds. I have 50 budgies, and they are all sweet, and I'm 12, and I love them. Aww. Livia, that's so beautiful to hear. Was it one of the best days of your life when you got hope? <laughs> well, hope was like a, I didn't think about getting my car. I never thought about I wanted my car. It was more like a, oh, my battery is running low. 
Let me go get my um, charger cable so I can charge you and we don't get disconnected. So once I got hope, it was like more like, I don't know, like I'm looking for a Dino personality type of bird. And then I just saw hope online and I just thought like, Okay, so I just emailed that person, that breeder, and I was like, hey, can I come look at your macaw? Do you still have it? And, she's, uh, and she emails me back and she says, yeah, yeah, but I still have it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop by. And she's like, yeah, come. And I stopped by and I wasn't like, I just wanted to see a macaw. I wasn't thinking about really getting a macaw. And once I stopped by, there was a home and he was so small and cute. <laughs> And he was just so gorgeous. I don't know if you saw my pictures that I take. He has a charger. I find a charger. And there's Hope. He's in his cage. Um, and once I saw baby Hope, oh my gosh. I was like, oh, I am in love. I really love this guy. And then I was thinking about it for like, I think like um, two days. I thought about it. And Hope didn't leave my mind after two days. I kind of like got back to her. Sorry guys, I'm just looking for a charger to charge this phone because I'm running low on battery and I don't want this live um, stream to get shut off. So <laughs> bear with me please, bear with me. Okay, there it is. And number two in the wall. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm just trying to charge this phone. Okay, I think we got it now. Yes, and it's long enough. Perfect. Yeah, and then when I saw Hope, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the cutest ever. But he was huge as a baby. He was really huge. And I was like, I want this bird <laughs> after two days. So I called her or I emailed her, I think. I was like, okay, I would like to get this bird. And she's like, perfect. And then I just went and purchased it. And I also have, I think I have all the footage, I film everything somewhere on my hard drive. Um, I wanted to put it into my new film, Lonely Hollywood, that's like a new film I'm working on. And it's about like how I lost Dino, the day I lost Dino, and coping with grief and the pain, and then how I got all my four birds. It will be an awesome movie, I just don't have the time to finish it, I need to finish it for you guys and I have all these awesome footage that I want to kind of like post and release it to you too so you can see it. Okay, um, other questions? I lost my parrot Josh Bailey. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, that's horrible. I just saw Josh Bailey, welcome. Um, Oh my gosh, I hope you can find him. If you lose your parrot, you have to go out and look for him and call him and be on outside on your feet and just call and hope that your parrot will respond back to you. And once you hear his voice, just follow his voice and ask him to come down and fly down. But it's, it's, I lost all my four. I think I lost faith. I, ho I lost hope like two times like for real, where he was real loss. And then, and then I lost Faith twice, I lost Destiny twice, and I lost Angel twice. I think I lost all my birds twice, and I got them all back. I'm really lucky. Where did you get hope? I got hope from a breeder, local breeder here around my area, but she's not breeding anymore, so she went out of business. Any advice of plucking birds? Well, I don't really have plucking birds, which I'm for now really lucky. My birds are all happy. I hope nobody is going to start plucking. Um, I think if a bird plucks, it's psychological and it's trauma. And the bird is coping with something that it can't process. So it just kind of like start plucking. Um, spend a lot of time with this bird and give it a lot of love and this bird might be even bored so try to like have that bird not bored and um, yeah and then once it stops the behavior of plucking um, the feathers might be growing back but you have to keep your bird 
um, all the time active and 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 um, engage with other stuff with toys or stuff once you're not home but yeah it's it's not easy birds are very emotional beings and they can get very hormonal very fast Abby Barnett shout out to me here it is Oh, Josh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, my dad walked in the room with my parrot. I'm crying. Oh my gosh, you guys find your parrot. I'm so happy to hear that. Birds are so cute and very sensitive. Yep, that is true. I have two cockatiels, one male and one female. I had three months and they all still don't step up. Do you have any advice? How can I get them to play with me and step up? So you have two cockatiel. And I have it for three months. I have two cockatiels. So it's a pair. You have two cockatiels for three months. Well, they are probably bonded to each other. You have two cockatiels and they love each other. So basically, you are the third person and you are an intruder in their relationship because they didn't grow up with you. So my, I, my guess is if you put your hand in, they are like kind of wild and flying around in the cage and they don't want to step up because they have each other and they love each other. Um, if you want a tame bird, and those two birds are probably not tame if they don't want to step up. If you want a tame bird, you need to get a new bird, a baby bird, and uh, spend a lot of time with him and tame him yourself and put that baby bird in a separate cage. So that baby bird will um, m like imprint in you and then you will become that mate of that bird. But those two cockatiels have already each other. They don't need you. Uh, if I got a female cockatiel so my male is not lonely, but they are not or ignore me? Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Either you have one bird and one bird that really loves you, or you get another bird and then they will ignore you. That's human nature. I mean, Bird's nature. <laughs> you have talent, Michelle Shepard. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful to hear. I love it. <laughs> Are you getting any more birds in the future? If so, what we Haha! <laughs> Valerie A is asking this question. Yes, I am. I'm actually getting my baby next month. Uh, finally, it was a long way coming, and I'm so excited about um, this bird, this new bird. It's my dream bird. So yes, I'm getting a new baby, and then next year I'm getting another new baby. So uh, yes, I'm going to grow my flock. I'm looking for another question. Alexis Phillips, hi. Oh, Faith is watching. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, ain't hopeless numbers. Let's hope he's in his cage. I know, Mackie. Well, 50k. Congrats, Caroline. <laughs> that's why we are on live because we reach 50k. And that's so awesome. I'm so excited about the 50k. And that is only possible with you guys, my beautiful CVPs. I love you so much. And um, yeah, so let's grow together even more and I hope we can get 100k um, and, you know, have more impact on people and people's life. That will be nice. So let's do it together. Share all my videos. All right. More birds the better. Exactly. Leah Nunn, can I have a shout out? Yes, here it is. I agree with you. Caroline Davis, you have talent. <laughs> I should go with Destiny to talent. America got talent or something like that. Oh, what about Hope? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should like go with Hope and say, oh, my bird is free flight trained at America got talent and let Hope fly around the audience and come back. <laughs> I don't think they're going to send us to Las Vegas though. Um, Hope is so funny. Yes, he's quite a character. 
thank you adventures with knob and pro he's saying hey great job on your videos and hitting this milestone yeah halfway to 100k i think 100k is really hard to get but it was hard to get 10k once you hit 10k it's even harder to get 100k once you hit 100k it's even harder to get like a million k but once you reach a million a million subscribers it's easy to get 10 million i think once you reach a million it goes boof so fast Yes, I did. Leah Mac, uh, Mac L. Hanny has this awesome question and she's asking, did you finish hand feeding Hope or did you wait him to bring him home? Um, so this is the thing. I had destiny before I had Hope and I didn't know how to really hand feed. But because I had destiny before and the breeder just wanted to get rid of destiny, he showed me how to hand feed and then I just hand fed destiny when he was a baby and then I felt comfortable hand feeding Hope so when Hope was I think 10 weeks old I hand fed him and it was hard to wean him off he still was crying for formula when he was like I think 14 months old yeah he's now 24 months old but he was crying he didn't want to get weaned and also girl macaws are so much smarter than boy macaws they wean faster and they fly faster like they they get training if they get training they understand faster they're so much smarter than boy birds boy birds are a little slower to like catch on but yes i did hand feed um both of my birds destiny and 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 hope but angel was already weaned um, I got him like fully weaned and Faith, I got her, I don't know how old is Faith, but she's, um, I love my Faith. I'm sorry you missed more, did you go on a road trip at all? Um, Michael, that's a really nice comment. Um, yeah, I was really uh, um, bummed that I missed more, but you know what? I got to go this week to the MAAs, which was really cool. I got to see Taylor Swift and this whole like you know um music award show and then there was with summit right that night that evening after ama so this week has been really busy even without moab but i really want to go to moab because my friends are flying there and they're all there and it's beautiful it's warm there and yeah that it is what it is Let's see if we have other questions that I can answer. Okay, these are good questions. Stephanie Blunt, I have a question about birds. Which birds is best for beginners and for training? Well, for beginners, it's best like to get a smaller bird, like a cockatiel or a budgie or a conure or even a lorikeet. Um, lorikeets are little clowns. I love lorikeets because they're so animated. They are so funny. If you haven't seen it already, go check out my other channel, Angelic Parrots. Link is in the description. And you can see today, like, Angel woke me up and he was dancing with my hand. He is so cute. He's a little clown. But because... Um, smaller birds are easier to train they are as smart as big birds just in smaller package and they cost less <laughs> big birds are more work they are louder um, and they they need more care and more attention so if you are like a teenager and you don't have you know you don't want too much responsibility Get a small bird even though a small bird is a lot of responsibility but that will path your way to a bigger bird how do you harness train a bird um that's also a good question if you harness train a bird you can take your bird anywhere you want to go without clipping its wings and i train hope when he was four three months old i just got the aviator harness from um um, Parrot University and it's great that's one of the best harness on the market it's like $30 or so 30 bucks and it comes also for training DVD and a, a DVD that tells you how to do it so I just watched the DVD for 30 minutes and then Hope was right here on my chest and I show Hope the harness and I 
and I just put it over his head and it was a piece of cake. He totally accepted and he just put down his head and I see his wings and he's, he kind of like put up his wings. So he was a very easy bird to train. And that's the nice thing if you get a bird, you know, young, you can train it, you can imprint it, you can do like your whole personality onto this bird. But now if you get an older bird, it's harder. But I did uh, train Faith to wear this harness too but it's not easy it's always a little struggle to put it on even angel he hates the harness it's always a struggle to put it on with uh, with 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 um angel and then once it's on he's okay but then it's also a struggle also to get it out i think uh and for destiny when i put on the harness in destiny he hates it but because the harness was a little smaller so i put now hope's harness on destiny and he's okay but i put a uh, Amazon harness on um, Destiny and he hates it and he was like squishing to that harness so it was really funny and really really cute but yeah I hope this answers your questions with harness training alright how old is Hope? A Hope is two years old There are hardly any good bird stores where I live. They are always expensive and my birds destroy toys within minutes. All birds destroy toys. That's the fun part. It's a nice question. Why do my parrots bite strangers? Well, because they don't know the stranger. But there's also... Um, I mean, Angel doesn't bite stranger. Angel is really, really nice. He's nice to strangers. Um, but some birds just are afraid of strangers like some kids are afraid of strangers so each birds are different i love your channel daniel thank you daniel how do you teach a bird to talk how do i teach destiny to talk well you have to say it all the time like i love you i love you i love you or i say to destiny hey do you want ice cream and i was just like saying it as a joke he doesn't really eat ice cream when I show him ice cream, he goes like, mm. <laughs> he doesn't like it. And um, so, and then he just hear it when I say it's to Angel, hey, no, ice cream. Angel loves ice cream. And, <laughs> and he just picked it up because I was like saying it over and over again. And he listened. He's such a smart bird. He talks so well. Oh, and now then once I left the left left my house i also let the i i record it with a digital recorder um i wanted destiny to learn some phrases like um, play with me i love you hello how are you so hello was the first word so i recorded in a digital recorder uploaded it to itunes and once i leave my house i just had itunes play in a loop over and over again so destiny was hearing it and he know now all the words and he's so smart What's the best for birds to start with? Nephily, um, small little budgies, they are the best birds to start. Is it true uh, that's good for budgies to eat berries and fruits, for example, strawberries? If they want to eat it, yeah, sure, better than seeds. I like to feed fresh food, it's so much better than seeds or pallets or, you know, those food that you can buy in the store. Can you let Hope and Destiny out, please, and let her talk? <laughs> nah, Destiny's now with Faith in the bathroom, and they are having their time together. And if I get Hope out, I can concentrate on you, and Hope will be all over the place, and I get distracted. You'll see him tomorrow in my vlogs. What's the best bird to start with? Little birds. Little birds. Pear Playhouse. I just landed. Yes! <laughs> nice. Okay. So here's another question. Uh, is getting a mate for my seven year old Quaker a good idea? He has always been my only bird from what he was 10 weeks old. Well, here's the thing if you get another bird for your bird, then they are gonna pair up and they are gonna, like, you know, be against you or they don't really need you, they have to need each other. So basically, your bird has you, 
But I know you want to make your bird happy and get him a mate. But once you get him a mate, um, he might imprint with the mate and then he won't be the same and you might be losing him. And that's also the thing if you breed birds. Either it's pet birds or it's breeder birds because you can't mix both together. So pet birds are birds like my birds. They are playing, they are having fun, they are just hanging out, they are pet birds. But now breeder birds are birds that are held in a cage with no toys just to lay eggs so that they can produce chicks so that the breeder can sell the chicks and hand feed them and tame them to be pet birds. And breeder birds wants to be leave alone. You can like touch them, you can play with them. They will bite really hard because they're wild and they love each other. And if you turn a pet bird into a breeder bird, you might lose your pet bird and that bird will become wild because um, if a bird have a partner and they have a nest box, they have just one goal and one goal only, which is raising chicks. And they are uh, very family oriented. So yeah, and they just want to be them with their mate together. Oh, that's it, Paxaski says, whoever dislikes your videos uh, are disgraceful. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. Your advice is good, many thanks. You're welcome. All right, so now we have been live for 51 minutes. So I try also to, um, like, you know, um, um, don't go more than over an hour with live streams. So we still have nine minutes together because I have also something else to do today and I have to edit the vlog for tomorrow and I have some other stuff to do and I have to like, you know, take care of my birds. So nine minutes guys. Shout out little animal lover. Daniela, Gray, love your videos. I love you. Sushi Kwon, thank you. Do you know what's a quail? Yes, I see some videos where people go to a supermarket, buy quail eggs and, and put it in an um, incubator and hatch them themselves. How to tame a six month old pudgy? There's a question. Um, spend a lot of time with them. I mean, with six months, it's still young, but if it didn't get hand fed and hasn't been pulled out of the uh, breeder box and the parents fed this bird that bird will be wild but if it's hen fed it's a tame bird and it got fed by a hen with a size string that's that means hen fed um, it's used to the hen so if you have a six months old bird that got raised by its parents it will be always wild but if you got a six month old bird who got hen fed from a pet store or from a breeder, then you have more chances to have it tame. Little animal lover, yay, you finally answered my question. Thank you, you're welcome. Carol Borlier, love your videos, good job. Thank you. How to tame a budgie? Um, I'm on, yeah, how to tame a budgie. I hope I did answer your question, how to tame a budgie. I have no advice about mating stuff. My birds don't mate, sorry, bio. But Laya Gray is asking questions. He wants to see hope before we shut off. Yeah, we can do that. Love your channel, love you and see stick, but be careful. Diana, okay, <laughs> thanks for your advice. Okay, I'm looking at just all your comments. Love watching yours and Marlene's video on post of days. That you are together. I know, I love Marlene so much. She is just gorgeous and amazing. And she is just, oh, her videos are great. And she is great. And yeah, I'm just so happy I found her friend and her. And we both love birds.
don't expect a bearded bird to be loving. I rescued one 25 years ago. Wow, did you get it to tame it? Uh, I would be interested to hear more about it, Mirko, if you can comment. I think I think that's it. I'm looking. I like this video of Bluff and Hop. Okay, my father wants to speak German. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he can say something in German to me. Okay, I think that's it. So let me go show you Hope before we get shut off. Or before I go. And let me get out of my comfy. How, how do you guys like my king chair? I love it. I love my king's chair. And guys, look, I have my merch on. This is the zipper merch with my logo in front. And you guys can see, big free fly logo on the back. I love it. <laughs> it's on our website. All right, so let's go and see where's Hopi Hopi. Hope and Angel, they are crazy. Let's get them out. They will love to come see you. Hope, do you want to come see you too? <gasps> I gave him today like a bread to like play with. <laughs> Hi, Hope, there he is. And look at, look at his cage. He's having this bread to play. It's hard. Like, it's old. It's not old. It's like, he can play. He can like shred it. Whatever. Hope just went up. Where's Hopi? <gasps> there is Hopi. Hi, Hopi. There he is. Hi. He's so happy to be out. Angel is down here. Come out, Angel. Come out. Yeah, come here, baby. You want to come out? Yeah. Now you see, he wants to come out on his own terms. Come out. Come out. Come out. Okay. You want to come on my hand? No? Okay. So, he doesn't want to come on my hand, so I just leave him, leave the door open, and I'll let him come out when he's ready to come out, which will be pretty soon. <laughs> You see, now he comes out on his own terms. Yep, yeah, that's it. If he wants to come out by himself, he will come out by himself. I won't force him. Do you want to come out now on my hand? Yeah, now he's ready to come on my hand. Hi. Hi, Angel. Do you want to say hi to you too? Hi, my little... Angel is a little party bird. I love you, Angel. I love you. You want to sit up here? Yeah. Hi! <laughs> and up there is Hope. They're just watching us right now. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, he's flicking his tongue. You guys see that? Do you guys see that? He's flicking his tongue. Flick your tongue, Angel. Hi. Look. Hi. You're so cute. What is Hopey doing? Hopey is watching everything. Hope, say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, <laughs> he just sneezed. <laughs> Did you just have a little sneezer? Yeah. I love my selfie stick. Hi, Angel. You want to give me a kiss? Yeah, come on. Let's kiss Hope together. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Do you want to kiss Hope with me? Hi. Look at this plumage. She has this nice feathers. He's so soft. And that's because I juice it and give him right nutrition that he needs. And it smells so good too. I love him. Hi, Angel. Hi. Oh, no, not my nose. Not my nose. He likes to stick his tongue in my nose. Yeah. I love you too. I love you too. Where's Hopi? Hopi? What are you doing up there? What are you doing? Oh, no, don't bite the camera. Say hi to YouTube. He's in the highest spot up there. Right? And this is my bird room. We have bird wallpapers all around. There's a video on my channel where I put this together and how I put it up on those wallpapers. Yeah, here they are. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoy this live stream. We have 50,000 subscribers. Guys, what do you think about 50K? Angel, what do you think about 50K? Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah? Are you happy about 50k? Do you want to dance for us? I think he's getting in the mood. I love you. Come here. 
doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to come. <laughs> He's so cute. I love my birds. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, just want to say thank you again for watching us. We'll be back on tomorrow with Daily Vlogs. And I will see you tomorrow, guys. And yeah, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Do something good today. Love you. Bye. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss, Angel. Kiss. <laughs>